Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to find the square root of non-perfect square numbers applying the idea of calculus known as linearization. So today we're going to evaluate the square root of 30 which we all know is non-perfect square number. All right let's get started. I would like to let this number 30 be equal to x. So let x equal to 30. That's number one. Then we're going to let a be equal to a perfect square number very close to 30, which we know we have 25. So I would like to let a to be equal to 25. So our function f of x is equal to what? The square root of x. Remember, I have let 30 to be equal to x. Therefore, the function will be what? The square root of x. So to find that square root by linearization, the linearization of x, which is L of x, will be equal to f of a e plus f prime of a e multiplied by x minus a. E. So this is our formula. We need to find this, this, and multiply by this. We know what is x, is 30. We know what is a, is 25. So what is f of a? If f of x is this, therefore f of a will be square root of a, and a is 25. So L of x is equal to, or should I evaluate this separately? Let's do that. f of a is equal to what? f of 25, which is equal to the square root of 25, which is equal to 5, right? Because square root of 25 is 5. Then f prime of e is the same thing as um, f prime of 25. But what is f prime? It means what? The derivative of the square root of x. You know, naturally, if you have y to be equal to the square root of x, dy over dx is always equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of x. This is the derivative. So therefore, since we are looking for f prime of e, all we have to do is to substitute 25 in here. So this would be 1 divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of what? 25. Square root of 25 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So this is equal to 1 divided by 10. I think we can now substitute into this. Therefore, L of x is equal to f of a. f of a is 5. So we have 5 plus f prime of e, which is 1 divided by 10, multiplied by x minus e. x is 30, e is 25, so we have 30 minus 25. This is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by 10, multiplied by 30 minus 25 is 5. And if you multiply 1 over 10 by 5, you shall obtain 1 divided by 2, right? So this is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by 2 because 5 can divide 10 exactly 2 times. So this is 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11. So you can see that finally uh, our L of x is equal to 11 divided by 2. And 11 divided by 2 is 5.5, right? So it means that the square root of 30 is 5.5. You can use your calculator to confirm that in one decimal place. So this is exactly how to find the square root of non-perfect square numbers applying the idea of linearization. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.